Hey guys, so it's me Alexis. Welcome back to my astrology channel and today I'm going to be talking about the Virgo Venus. So before I go ahead and do that, I just want to let you guys know that I will be putting up a poll after this video is posted so that you guys can kind of vote for whatever Venus sign I should cover for next week. I feel like, are we like already like halfway through this series already? Like man, time flies fast. But anyways, I will be putting up a poll so that you guys can kind of go and vote. And yeah, I also offer astrology and tarot readings, so if you guys are really into my content, you can gonna go ahead and kind of schedule something with me below. And like always, I really appreciate you guys, like I get surprised whenever people even watch my videos. So to even see like, you know, anyone comment or anything like that, it truly means a lot to me. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So Virgo Venus, this is a, this is an interesting placement. Um, let me kind of talk about, I mean, Virgo in general is very interesting, but let me go ahead and kind of talk about Virgo as an archetype and then kind of see how the Virgo archetype meshes with Venus. Spoiler alert, it's not that comfortable. So Virgo is going to be a mutable earth sign. And when you have any sign that's mutable, I think of signs that are very flexible, signs that are really good at accepting things for the way they are so that they can kind of adapt to it. They don't really try to initiate any change or try to like keep it the way it is. Like mutable signs, they're kind of like go with the flow kind of people. Like they're not gonna try to, you know, you know, be the boss of things and try to take charge and they're not gonna try to keep anything consistent either. They kind of just look at the state of things, they're like, oh, yep, I can't control the flow, so I will be the flow. That's very mutable. So on top of that, um, Virgo is an earth sign and earth is the sign of practicality. I think of groundedness, I think of reality. Um, earth is going to be cold and it's also gonna be dry. So what that means is that, you know, with the coldness, um, earth tends to be a little bit more internal, it tends to be more closed off. And then with the dryness, uh, there's a separating, distinguishing quality that earth signs tend to put out. That's why with earth signs, they tend to be kind of hard to get close to. They tend to be a little bit, a little bit more withdrawn. For earth signs, they kind of have to warm up to you first before you kind of get closer to them. That, you know, that, you know, that gap between you and earth signs, that's kind of the dryness that kind of makes up the um, earth element. So when you put mutable and then earth together, on top of that, Virgo is ruled by Mercury, which is the sign of the mind. Um, for Virgo in particular, it's kind of like the thinking analytical kind of part. Um, when it comes to that, with all that all together, you have a sign that is very adaptable, yet very practical and very solitary. And this is kind of where, this is kind of where Venus is kind of like, oh no, I can't work with Virgo. So technically Venus does not do so hot in Virgo. In fact, Virgo, I mean, in fact, Venus falls in Virgo. And what that basically means is that the functionality of Venus tends to get lost whenever she's in Virgo, just because, you know, the objective of Virgo tends to just not match with Venus to the point where, like, it kind of seems kind of ambiguous. So, I mean, it's a little bit different from, like, Aries and Scorpio, where Venus is in her detriment because, you know, the archetypes of Aries and Scorpio tend to clash right on with Venus to where there's, like, you know, conflict. But with Virgo and then Venus, it just kind of seems like the functionality kind of just seems to kind of, like, float away. It's just kind of like, you know, there are two, there's two really good tasks, except, you know, they just don't mesh well together just because there's different objectives. Um, let me explain that. So when I think, I think the reason why Venus doesn't do so hot in Virgo is because if you think about Virgo, Virgo is a lot of thinking, analyzing, organizing, you know, a lot of like inner mental functions. And Venus is the planet of connection, it's the planet of, you know, pleasure, the planet of like relationships. And, you know, here's the thing, you know, when it comes to the mind, you know, you only own your own mind, like thinking, analyzing, and organizing, which are very, you know, Virgo um, actions. They're very solitary. You don't think with your friends. I mean, yes, there's like brainstorming and all that stuff, but truly when you think about it, you know, you, only you know completely what's going on in your mind. And because of that, the relationship that you have with your mind is very intimate and very personal and very just, you know, singular. And that kind of contradicts with Venus because Venus is always about, you know, the plural, about, you know, two people or like, you know, connection between two objects. And, you know, with Virgo, it's very singular where it's like, you know, just one person thinking, functioning autonomously, while Venus is more like, you know, let's get two people and kind of use some teamwork and help it go through. And now you're wondering, oh, how does this, you know, manifest in a relationship? 
So let me kind of go ahead and talk about the cons of the Virgo Venus first, just because I feel like the cons are very glaring and very there, but I will tell some good things about you guys. Don't worry. So with that, you know, explanation that I just gave, because Virgo is so focused on organizing and analyzing and thinking all very independent actions, you know, on the plus side, they are independent. They are reliable. They can get their stuff done. They do come in clutch. When they come in clutch, that's, that's how they show they love you. However, Virgo Venuses need to realize that, you know, a relationship involves two people and they don't count for two. They're only one person. And the Virgo Venus may be driven to kind of, you know, you know, anchor the relationship as if like they're the only person doing the work. So this means, you know, this can manifest as the Virgo Venus person like making all the plans or making sure everything is up and up in line or making sure their partner has, you know, their schedule laid out, like getting all those little things, you know, out of the way. And while that is a very good quality for a Virgo Venus to, to the point where they're very attentive, they also have to realize that like it takes two people to do that. For a Virgo Venus, they're so much more worried about, you know, how they will help another person or their partner if they screw up, but they don't really worry about themselves screwing up. They don't even really think about, you know, if other people can help them out. Because for Virgo Venuses, they're really good at helping other people. Um, there's, there's a reason why Virgo is usually tied to the serving kind of archetype because they know what people want and they're good at getting what people want, but they don't really worry about themselves either because, you know, there's, there's just so much going on inside their heads to the point where, like, they're just kind of like, there's not enough mind space for me, but there's enough mind space for my partner. So think of it this way. If you like a Virgo Venus, a really good way to tell if a Virgo Venus likes you is if you consume their mind. If you consume their mind to the point where they don't even think about themselves, yeah, chances are they like you. Hey, but you know what that means? It means it's not healthy. If you're a Virgo Venus watching this video, when you try to take charge of a relationship, when you try to kind of, you know, you know, handle all the details and not really let the other person, you know, work in the relationship, you don't trust your partner. And if you can't trust anybody, you can't really, you know, make a relationship because a lot of what a relationship is about is trust. And, you know, another thing to consider is that, you know, with a Virgo Venus, there's a lot going on in their head. They're trying to figure a lot of things out. And sometimes, you know, for a Virgo Venus, they might expect someone else to kind of know what they're thinking. And because of that, you know, this is why Virgo Venuses are labeled as naggy. This is why they're labeled as, you know, really picky and really annoying and, you know, are easily annoyed and all of that. And I guess, I mean, one thing I would like to say is, you know, communication is key. Not everybody can read your mind. And, you know, part of a relationship is, you know, opening your mind up to somebody, not just your heart, but your mind too. So with that Virgo, please take that with, you know, take that with, you know, to heart, hopefully. Yeah, to heart or to mind, whatever. So, um, yeah. Now, now for the good stuff. So, Virgo Venuses, they are probably one of the most cautious, you know, Venus signs out there. They are so careful. Like, if you rush a Virgo Venus, they're gonna get nervous and anxious and they're gonna tell you to shut up and go away. The reason why I say this is because, you know, for a Virgo Venus, they are really good at knowing how a relationship can mess up. They're so good at finding out every scenario where a relationship can screw up. And because of that, a Virgo Venus is very cautious. And, you know, because they're so, you know, because they can foresee so many mistakes on the way, they're really smart when it comes to handling relationships, but they have to like use their foresight as something that will empower the relationship rather than something that will scare them off from relationships because you know when you're a virgo venus you're very attentive you're very observant you can see things coming because you you know you you think a lot and you know rather than having those observations scare you or make you you know feel threatened or picky or nitpicky like stuff like that like rather than using those observations 
for something to kind of drive your fear, use those observations to kind of drive your relationship further. So at their best, a Virgo Venus is such an attentive partner. You're never going to feel like you're not significant when it comes to a Virgo Venus. You feel like a Virgo Venus is always going to be there for you. They're always going to show you through the little actions that they care for you. Let's just say that, you know, you like your sandwiches and fours. They're going to cut sandwiches and fours instead of halves because they love you, even though cutting your sandwich in half would be, you know, a lot easier. Stuff like that, you know? Like, those are the things that Virgo Venuses are really attentive to. And because of that, it's those little things where, you know, you feel loved and significant. Now, I will say that when it, when it comes to expressions of love, I feel like Virgo Venuses are not going to be super dramatic whenever they, they're in love with somebody. Just because we're a Virgo Venus, they think, you know, I don't need to give you a grand gesture to show that I love you. It's more like a bunch of little tiny gestures that actually help your life out. Like, that is what I will do to show you that I love you. So, like, when it comes to, like, promposals or, like, wedding proposals or stuff like that, if it comes to a Virgo Venus, don't expect anything too special or, or don't expect something, you know, extravagant, unnecessary. I will say that Virgo Venuses, if they want to make something big, they will, but only if it's necessary. And because of that, you know, at least with a Virgo Venus, you know, whenever you're in love with them, at least they won't embarrass you in public like a Leo Venus would, no shade. But um, yeah, so with the way that they express their love, it may seem a little bit more muted, but even though it's muted, maybe, you know, even if it's not super dramatic or super out there, it's genuine. And because because there's no, like a lot of, because there's no glamor, because there's no like extravagance, like you know that whatever action you get from a Virgo Venus, you know that it's sincere and that it's completely and catered to you as a person. So um, yeah, that's pretty much my take on the Virgo Venus. Um, personally, I liked a person who had a Virgo Venus and um, the way that he tried to express his love for me, it was very like very small but very significant. Like he would always watch out for me, kind of ask if I ate or like little stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's a very nice endearing placement. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully you guys like my take on Virgo Venus and yeah, I will go ahead and see you guys next week.